over fat. And this, this is your fan time true wireless earbuds. These are your IP8X. What the hell are you? So here we have it. The Fantime Twin. These are true wireless earbuds. These are alternatives to the Apple AirPods, but these don't have a stem. These are your IP8X, and I'm really looking forward to open this up. Just think of it as Apple AirPods without a stem. Let's check these out. So we open this up and what we find is a nice black and green case to match the color theme of the box. Nice hard shell case with the green zipper. Real good attention to design here. Zips open real good. And here you go. Bang. Look at this. You got the charging case and the two earbuds. All right, so we have a short cord and that's okay. USB to micro USB for charging. And you got a couple of ear tips right here. These are your standard edition ear tips. This will provide a better fit. And here's the charging case. Really looks good. Nice looking charging case. Pins for charging up inside. And it closes with a little bit of a magnet pull. So you got some magnets in here. And here are the earbuds themselves. Look at these little things right here. Just like having ear pods, but absolutely no stem. This is hot, man. If this could provide any type of good battery life. Now I was looking up the specs on Amazon and they're saying two to three hours of battery life. It takes an hour to charge these up. If these can sound good and last, this is gonna be impressive. This charging case is so light. This could fit in the little pocket of your jeans. And here's your micro USB for charging. Nice attention to detail, this looks good. But these earbuds are so small. This is looking really good. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take this to work, I'm gonna put them to use, and I'm probably gonna use them for a couple of days. And we'll be back in this video to let you know how these earbuds are. So it's been a few days now and I've been using these IP8X, these mini true wireless earbuds. And I gotta say, this little small profile has definitely turned some heads. So much people's been talking to me about these earbuds. My experience with these earbuds has been really good. These are definitely gonna start a conversation because of its little small profile, the way they fit in your ears. But I've truly tested these for days now. And I gotta say, man, if Apple can duplicate something like this, this is gonna be an absolute hit. First of all, you got the fit. Really small profile fit that really fits in your ear. If AirPods fit you well, these are gonna fit you the same way and even better. Really small profile, you don't have a stem, so there's no extra weight pulling on them. They just really stay really good in your ears. Not once I needed to use the accessory to get these to fit in my ear. Very nice earbuds, I like them. So the fit is absolutely excellent. These are gonna fit you well. Now, pairing process was absolutely seamless. To get these paired up to your phone was a breeze. No problem. As soon as you take these out the case, they turn on and they pair up to your phone. So the pairing process is excellent. This is Bluetooth 4.2. But there's one problem with these earbuds. They don't seem to continuously stay connected to each other. As you're walking around, you're moving around, they tend to chip out 
here and there. They chip back in, but they might chip out like over and over. But the design, the fit, and the charging case is pretty impressive. And let's go into that charging case. 300 milliamp hours on this charging case. Pretty small batteries. This is gonna last you a session or two, and that's it. So let's get into the sound test of these IP8X. And that's the sound test of these IP8X. Fantania did a pretty good job with the sound of these. I just need a little bit more volume though. The sound is in the area. They sound like AirPods, but less volume. It needs a little bit more volume, but I think I understand why they didn't really pack a lot of volume in these earbuds because it's gonna take away from the battery life. If you're a person that normally keep the, your earbuds under like 50% to 70% volume, you'll be fine with these. But if you're a volume head and you really like that ear deafening volume, you're not gonna get that here. So that takes us into battery life. Now these are not packing the most bass, but it does have a decent sound. It's giving you the full spectrum of the lows, the mids and the highs. And the reason why they tone down on the sound is because of the battery light. These are little earbuds and they're gonna carry a little battery. So you cannot expect impressive amounts of battery life from little earbuds. But these are packing an impressive two hours of battery life. According to the company, if you keep it at 50% volume, you can probably crank out another hour of battery life. But in my testing, it's been a consistent two hours. I can't get more than that. So the battery life, the battery projection is accurate. Two hours of battery life, that's all you're getting. So if you really enjoy these earbuds, those are gonna be a really nice two hours. Now, why would you get these earbuds? You're getting it for the look, you're getting it for the size, and the sound sounds good, especially for the size. Battery life is a little bit of a weakness, only at two hours, and the charging case will give you a full charge and you'll still have battery left over in case you wanna use this for another session. Not bad, but the small profile, that small look, walking in somewhere with earbuds that really fit flush in your ear is really good. Here's another issue that we have with these earbuds is the call quality. Call quality is not as good as I would like. Can you have a conversation? You're gonna to have to be in a quiet area like your car and you're gonna to have to talk up because they're gonna hear all your background sound if you have any background sound and you gotta talk up so the microphones can really pick up your voice nice and clear. But these are virtually bad in call quality. In call quality, I gotta give these a fail. The Bluetooth connection keeping both earbuds paired up to each other is a slight problem as well because they keep on chipping out on a regular basis. It doesn't matter what you do, they chip out. They chip back in, but they chip out again. So it's a constant chipping in and chipping out. I don't know if that was picked up in the sound test, but once these earbuds are separated just a little bit, they chip out. Pairing it up is excellent. When it pairs back up to your phone automatically, that's excellent. But the problem is they just don't keep a connection to each other as well as people would like because they chip out a lot. And that chipping out can interfere with that music you're listening to. These true wireless earbuds, I do want to recommend, but in this case, I can't. You got a poor Bluetooth connection with both earbuds to each other. Call quality is poor and battery life is short. And the volume, these are not for volume heads. These are the reasons why I can't recommend these earbuds. But if you're an enthusiast, I guess these are for you. So if you're looking for alternatives to Apple AirPods, these are not them, but check out 
all the links in the description and check out the cards to see which true wireless earbuds you might want to purchase but i wouldn't recommend you purchase these